Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caliquin.com. Today's review is going to be kind of short, because I'm doing this very last minute. This is the Sorban Abacus. Um, so I'm not going to go into how an abacus works or how to operate it, but I will go into the features of this. Um, as you can see, it's made of wood, like the entire thing is made of wood except for uh, this metal portion right here, which is for this uh, mechanism that resets everything. It's pretty cool and very satisfying to press. Uh, I have a GIF on the website showing me doing this over and over. Uh, all the beads slide very, very smoothly, so this is a very easy abacus to wor work with. Um, one of the things I don't really like about the Soroban uh, variant is there is very little space for the beads to actually slide. So it, it's 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 easy to see, but it's also very easy to knock things back into a place where you don't want them. So that's a little unfortunate. But other than that, this thing's really really cool. I don't know who made the who makes this or uh, what year this is from. I found this at Goodwill for about a buck. Um, on the bottom it's got these rubber feet so that way it doesn't slide around while it's in use and it holds in place pretty firmly. I mean you're not going to be pushing this thing very hard as you're working with it. So yeah, that is the uh, Sorban Abacus. They come from uh, Japan and these were invented back in the 14th century. I don't know when the plunger thing was added, but that does seem like a fairly uh, new feature, I guess. Um, maybe only in the past few hundred years. Mostly because of the spring. Um, I don't know if that technology was really available back then. It might have been. I I don't know. So, yeah, that's, that's an abacus. There's not a whole lot else to say about it. it looks fancy and it fits nicely in with the rest of my collection. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye!